What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Perez 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. This is episode number 37 of the series and the first Racing Topics with Ian Perez episode of 2021. And unfortunately, we're off to a bumpy start already. And of course, in NASCAR, big shocker. So, in case if you guys didn't know, uh, last night, Haley Deegan was live streaming during an iRacing event on Twitch. And um, during one of the races, uh, when she was racing with other people, some people got into her. And sorry for the long pause. And during like the, mo- uh, like the moment when people were getting onto her, Haley Deegan used the R word. Like she was saying, hey, who's that R word or something like that. And it has sparked into controversy. And also, I just found out that Haley Deegan uh, got into sensitivity training before I started filming. And honestly, I'm glad she is taking sensitivity training. I really hope she learns from this. And before you guys say anything in the comments below, yes, I am extremely aware that what Deegan did it was not intentional. She did not mean to say that. However, she should have used a better term, a different word, not the R word. In case of you guys don't know, the R word is an offensive slur for people with disabilities and special needs. And personally for me, I don't know, I don't understand the point of people using that term offensive or not I just don't understand why people would use that term and as a person with autism I was extremely disappointed in her like I don't forgive her if she's really sorry she's gonna she's gotta learn from this and I'm glad that she's taking sensitivity training and the fact that typical no I mean NASCAR fan base being typical they're divided about anything the fact that people just see the R word, oh, it's just a word, it's nothing. It's actually something. It is an offensive slur with people with disabilities and special needs. Like, of course, it's an offensive slur. There's a reason why people are not pleased about that. It's not that, oh, they're offended. For the people that find the R word offensive, I can tell, like, hey, they got common sense. Hey, they grew up um, treating people with respect, learning to respect others and all that. And they learned not to use any slur. And the fact that people are acting ignorant and acting like people, uh, it's just a word and all that. Either you either don't know it's an official slur or you're just... Or you just know it's an offensive slur, but you're pretty ignorant. I don't know. I don't know. Society is just stupid. And human- humanity is just flat out garbage. I'm glad that this is not like Kyle Larson. Because Larson said the N-word, which was a racial slur. And of course, that was a big deal. Haley Deegan. Yes, she did not mean to use that word, but she's stupid for saying that. And should have thought twice. Like, couldn't it, couldn't you just use the better term instead of the R word? God, what is up with people? What is up with um, famous athletes live streaming? Yikes. Anyway, so crap. I don't know what else to say. I hate the fact that if you say, oh, the R word is offensive. Oh, you get called a snowflake. Oh, you're miserable. Oh, this and that. Oh, you get so butthurt easily. Here's the thing. It's not just a word. I know I'm repeating myself, but I just don't know what else to say. It's not just a word. It's an offensive slur. So, personally, I feel like people should get educated about, like, they need to learn about, like, disabilities, special needs, and all that stuff. Also, why the... The R word is offensive. Unfortunately, like as a person with autism, I was bullied 
because, because I'm autistic. I have Asperger's syndrome. So almost seven years ago, on my way to school, actually, hang on, like almost seven years ago, I'm going to tell you like the whole story. What happened was that one day I was getting a drink and all that stuff. I was out of class. I had this one kid. He was mocking me because I have autism, but he was doing the, the, the disability people walking. I don't know how to say it, but like he was mocking the, uh, the disability kids who are struggling more. Like I'm autistic, but I'm not that autistic. And he was mocking me because I was like kind of in a special ed class, kind of. Um, and then all I did was flip him off, that's it, and then I think a couple of weeks later, or almost a month, one day I was getting on my bus, uh, we, we ride the same bus, by the way, so, um, on our way to school, the dude was still, uh, mocking me. Um, talking trash about me, saying racist stuff about me, and all that stuff. I was called the R word, unfortunately, if I can remember correctly. And then I had to deal with that the whole ride to school. And then when I got into school, when we arrived at school, I've had enough. I've had enough. We had a little confrontation. I freaked out. And then when I got off my bus, I gave him a tap. I tapped him on the chest. I don't know why. Like, I just tapped in. I just wanted you to wait because I didn't want to deal with him. And then he kicked my back. I fell. And then I lost my shit. Like, I exploded. I exploded. And after all that happened, I had breakfast with, I think it was like vice principal. I don't remember who it was. Talk things out. That He went to the, the detention room. And then I got into my English class. But I was still upset about what happened. So like 10 minutes later, I was let go. I was going home for the day because I was too upset. And, and yeah, after that, I was suspended from the bus for one day and he was suspended on the bus for three days. And to this day, to this day, I still think about that. Unfortunately, when I think about it, it hurts. It's painful. It's, unfortunately, I have to carry that horrible memory for the rest of my life. When I think about it, it hurts like hell. It's hard to let go. It was just that terrible. Like, the fact that someone would bully an autistic kid. Who would do such a thing? So, yeah. So, I know what some of you guys are wondering. What does that have to do with anything? Well, people with special needs go through a lot every single day. Every single day is a challenge. Not a lot of people know what people go through every single day. Not a lot of people think about what special needs kids go through every single day. Either because some don't know or don't care. But the fact that people would say it, I just don't understand why. Don't they know it's a slur? It's an offensive word. Like, that's why I don't use any slurs to say something. I don't. If you're in the heat of the moment, if you're... 
in like some moment what digging went through. Please, I really wish like people would use a different term and not the R word. I know Haley Deegan did not mean to say that. I'm sure like nobody was like, nobody has a disability on the eye racing thing. I get that. But to use that term, it's just, it's just a no. And honestly, sensitivity training, it's fine by me. I'll allow it. As long as she learns from this, as long as she never, never, ever, ever does this again. It's, if she learns from this, I'll forgive her. Right now, I don't. But she's going to go through that stuff, and I'm glad that NASCAR is making her. <sighs> Not sure what else to say. I'm not sure what else to say. Sorry that like this video is like so long and all that stuff. But for the people who use the R word or don't know about it, don't know too much about it, I really hope you guys learned. As for Haley Deegan, she's a 19-year-old young female. She's got a long way to go with her life and her career. And... And the fact that she's already messed up, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I know, like, where you come from and all that stuff, but, like, if you're on camera, you're supposed to be careful with what you say or what you do. I know nobody's perfect. I get it. Nobody's perfect. It's fine. I understand. But, like, you can't keep making these kind of mistakes again. I really hope she learns from this. She's got a long way to go with her career in life. I just really hope she learns from this. Think about what people with disability go through every day. Okay? Think about why the R word is offensive. For the people who were offended by it and those who don't have disabilities, um, I can see why they're offended by it. They were taught well, they were taught with common sense, and they were taught not to use that word no matter the situation. I know this video might be controversial, but I really don't care. I really need to like get this out of my chest. Like, did nobody learn anything from last year in NASCAR? Like, shit like this is one of the reasons why I do not want, want to watch a full season of the sport. Because of what happened last year, because of how NASCAR is. Like, I promise I'll go over that soon. But like, Haley Deegan is is very popular in the stock car world right now, and the fact that she's young, and she's already made a mistake. You're giving a bad image to the sport. Like cameras are on you. You're supposed to represent your sponsors and all that stuff. Like, you can't fuck up. Especially when you're young. Especially when you're about to start your NASCAR. Top 3 Series career. That's the thing as well. Like, the rest of the drivers need to learn from last year. Learn from Deegan. And be careful. Society changes. And all that. So, everybody has to be careful. I know I may sound dumb to some people, but I don't care. I just want to get things out of my chest. And I really hope Haley Deegan learns from this. And whatever you guys do, please do not call anyone with disabilities and special needs the R word. Please do not say that word just to be cool and edgy and all that stuff.
it's not that I'm like, oh, oh, I'm really offended by it. It's just that I just find that word pointless. And it's just offensive if you call someone with disabilities that word. And the fact that now, and the fact that fans, whenever they find a word offensive, are getting attacked, that shows how ignorant some people are. That shows how horrible and toxic the fan base is. I've seen like some people like 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 being against R word stuff and that dude was like getting attacked non stop and they called him the R word. I don't think he's got disability. But still that shows how ignorant people are. This is why humanity is shit. And I really hope you guys understand this video. I really hope you guys understand me. I really hope you guys understand where I come from and where do other people with disabilities and autism and all that stuff come from. I just shared my story to you guys. And just think about it. Think about what they go through every day. So I think that's going to do it for today's video. I didn't, ex I didn't expect this episode, uh, I didn't expect the first episode of 2021 of Race Topics and Ian Perez very s extremely seriously. Like, of course it's serious, but like, like, but the fact that I told you guys my story about what happened to me, yeah, that's how serious it is. And the fact that people are calling other people soft, that just shows either they don't know too much about the word or they're ignorant. So please, for the love of God, if you're watching this video, everybody, if you made it this far into this video, please respect each other in the comments below. Please educate yourselves, educate each other about disabilities and special needs. Let this be a lesson for everybody. All right? And let's hope Haley Deegan and everybody else in NASCAR and in motorsports world learn from this. This shit cannot... This, this shit needs to stop. The stupid controversial mistakes needs to be stopped. Let this be a lesson, okay? As long as Deegan get sensitivity training done as long as she really cares and really understands about what we go through i'll forgive her and i really hope she doesn't do it again <sighs> all right so yeah i think that's all for right now i want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Follow my social accounts and link in the description below. Turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Um, this is the Impressive 48 signing off. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. And please, respect each other. Help each other out. Educate each other. And all that stuff. Please. Do not be a fucking asshole in the comment section. Please. Think about what I think about what I talked about. Think about my story. And for you and for the people who have disabilities as well and were bullied because of that. I'm sorry. Y'all don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. Please help each other out. Thank you. And goodbye.